can't hear anything in that room. I don't know why. Okay. So, I'm in Zoom now. You ready to start or something? Because you're like, I guess so. Fight on the suit. It's playing. It's, it's not, not playing, playing for the radio or anybody Daniel else that I can see. RSB. I had to mute radio Discord. Why is nobody that's being a dream? I can't get out of the Discord. I understand that. Let you know other than the dynamic duo of Laz and Jack. What is wrong? On this fifth right before this. It just ended. <laughs> what just ended? The intro. If you could hear it. Can't hear nothing. I didn't think he could hear it. He was talking all over it. Alrighty, well, I'll insert intro here in live recording or in tape <laughs> recording. <laughs> Greetings, everybody. This is Laz, and I'm deaf today. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jack. Welcome to another edition of Technical Difficulties with Laz on Lunch. I don't know what the problem was or is. Uh, I was just talking to Spiff and I heard you say, you know, you heard you come in. And... I, I don't know. I mean, did you, in Discord, did you change your audio source for the speakers I... or did you... Because I haven't I, changed anything. I, I had to mute you just due to the uh, the echo between Discord and Zoom. Let's see if it's the auxiliary. Let's see if that'll fix the problem. Yes, and, and Justin does say that they can hear you on the radio, and so the well, intro... I know they can hear me on the radio, and everything's going <laughs> through recording properly. I just I, just, I don't <laughs> see anything. See, I have you and I on different channels, so yeah. you and I go through our recording and other software so that we don't ever lose that. And then I've got Discord on a third channel and the game <laughs> and all that all separate. It's all good. And yes, boys and girls, the technical I see me lighting up here in Discord. So Discord is picking me up. I see people lighting up, but I can't figure out what the hell is going on. It's all good. We can hear you inside of Discord and uh, in That's no, not good. How, how are we going to take questions from the audience? How are we going to get innuendo? <laughs> wait, wait. Did, you know. it, it, I mean, just because the only person that's spoken today is Spiff, anyone else is going to say anything. Shh. And if they do, I'll just laugh at you. Hello. Yeah, this is driving me crazy. Hello. Because... How's it going? <laughs> Anyway, we got a show to do. We got to move on. I'll see if I can't fix this as we go. But uh, welcome to today's show. It is Wednesday, November 22nd, day before Thanksgiving. And we've got another patch. An another patch. An another yes. patch. An another patch came is out this morning. I mean, is build number for such a large patch. I would have expected more notes. Yeah. Um. I mean, literally. Hey, well, how, how about this? Party member nameplates are visible through walls and across scenes again. And the ex exit back into Equitos from Hilt Fortress no longer takes you to the wrong map. Number one known issue. Players are una unable to fish. Uh, okay, make... got it now. Wait, so I can uh, mute Zoom and go back to listening to you in Discord? I, I guess that's the case because Laz is still. Yeah. Let, let me unmute you in Discord. You need to mute in Zoom. Mm -mm, no, you, you muted yourself in Zoom. <laughs> now I'm muted in Zoom. Thank you. Hey, and of you, course you're the one that see. said <laughs> did things beforehand. Okay, so let's see if I can hear people. Anybody want to say hello? Just to test that theory. Well, you can well, hear you me. Hello. There we go. Now I can hear you. There we go. 
Here we go. Now we can hear sounds. Now we can have some fun. Okay, now I can enjoy the rest of the show. In peace. Oh, <laughs> you can enjoy... It in, hey, Skirta, my bot's broken for some odd reason and won't connect to the server. So use a comma instead of a period. Comma. Yeah, use a comma. With a proper PVP. Thank you. There you go. Yes. Uh, so, all kinds of known issues. There's a slew of them. Uh, may or may not be another patch later today. May, maybe. We'll find out. Well, because so much for the final patch of the uh, release well, there on Monday. I, th- I think Chris's we, notes. I think we kind of knew that was going to happen. Well, I know, but yeah, you know, gotta gotta pick on the boys every once in a while just to keep them honest down there. Oh, yeah. The real I saw co- you arguing. I saw you arguing with List and smiling and giggling over something. What about my my shitty gear? Yeah, well, that's what, what the entire you're conversation like was about. Newbie gear, aren't you? Essentially, yes, yes. Essentially, I'm wearing newbie gear, and then he's like, "You are never allowed to complain about a scene again because you're using shit for gear." <laughs> actually, that newbie gear is actually pretty good. It, it, I use my, I use my newbie gear for like I don't know. I want to say almost a year, maybe. It's all good, man. It's all good. I mean. Yeah. I mean, it's like I can kill stuff. It's just I just can't take on a bunch of stuff by myself. <laughs> I mean, it's like yeah, tier fours, uh, tier fives are okay as long as I isolate things and don't get swarmed. So yes, yeah. as long as long, as long as you keep running and kiting things, that's right. Shame yeah. him, Roy. Shame him. Hey, Shame hey. him to death. <laughs> you, you, you know what? Why, why don't you uh, make me some gear and say hey? I'm tired of you having shitty gear. I, yeah, I, 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 did. I, I, what did you do with it? I wear it. Put it in the bank. No, I wear it. <laughs> That's right. Roy doesn't crap. He, he shops. <laughs> Want to say hello to everybody out there. Uh, Arturius Magnus, Botox, Geggy Media joining us in chat. You, out you there. forgot Thank Volo, you man. Doing? I mean, Valos. I didn't see Valo say anything out well, there today. He hasn't said anything, but he's there. I know. He's, yeah. he's, he's lurking in the background. Shh, shh, shh. Don't want to blow his cover, man. And, and Cornelius is here as well. <gasps> yeah, but... Yeah, uh, lots of <sighs> hanging out there. So, so Laz, technical difficulties. Um, I, I wanted to let you know that there is not a stand-up corner for us to discuss. Yes, I, I know Nor that. is there a, a Chris blog... Yes, I know but that as well. Nor is there a um definitely not a Lum blog. Oh well I I gave yeah. up on Lum's blog uh, about the same time he um, did. There Are you trying to figure out what we're gonna talk about today? Is that what you well, trying, trying to patch your I, head over? We're going to talk about the, stuffing and how to brine a turkey. Yeah, we, we're going to talk about maybe uh, what's <laughs> going on with the Airy Fund. I know Thex is uh, itching to tell us a little bit more about that. Uh, well, we got some new... Thex isn't new even here. here. I understand that, but yeah. uh, we can talk yeah. about it nonetheless. Uh, of course, we, we just started to scratch questions yesterday and... Uh, Get a couple of giggles and grins with those, of course. I mean, yes. Wait, wait, hold on. We're still not done with Cryo to Cry. Cryo to Cry. I mean, that guy. Yeah, we were He's on got the, all the uh, questions. What, hap- what happened to uh, three three question limit? But that got blown right the hell out the door. With no, uh, yeah. yeah. I, I don't even know which of his questions were, were on I, still. I believe we have uh, some Black Friday sales that need to be talked and discussed oh. about. You want, oh. you, want to, you want to talk about one or two of those up front? Oh, uh, oh. We'll, we'll start up start with the oh, up, yeah. start up front and then we'll finish y- off y- with it as well. You know but, what? Uh, Somebody added a bunch of items, the holiday items from 2015 to Shroud Marketplace. And uh, if you visit my store and you use the promo code, uh, I, I forgot what, Black Friday 15, you can get... Black Friday yeah, go, 15. Go to, yeah. Black Friday 15, you can get 15% off of anything from my shop. And I did add a ton of the holiday stuff from uh, 
2015, all that stuff's that's expired. That's not you selling that Yule hat for, oh, that's the 2015 Yule hat. Okay. Yeah, that is not the release 13 I was going to say, that, that's, that's too cheap, man. You can't get that. That, yeah, that, the, that the, the 20, <laughs> the 2014 Yule hat. The Virtue Yule hat. I do have story. as well. Um, maybe I should sell it to you. I've got one finally, so. Oh, you finally I got pick, one? I, I, yeah. I, I picked one up uh, sometime last year for in-game gold at a pretty, pretty good price. You, you know what? You have to remember. 100000 Yeah, that's how I ended up with the name Jack Frost because I didn't know that the world was going to go uh, persist. Or, uh, I shouldn't say persistent, but the game world was going to remain up indefinitely whereas before that all the releases there that name. it was there for That's a month right. and then it was dropped and so it's like hey you know what i'm just logging in to get the christmas hat so i'm gonna be jack frost and uh yeah i got stuck. my christmas hat and then from there january rolls around february rolls around, february rolls around. years later it's like i still have jack frost rolls around yeah. 2016 rolls around that's right <laughs> i still have jack frost that's right. Okay. So don't forget, I mean, also a new vendor on Shroud Marketplace that decided to go ahead and put up a tax-free founder village lot deed for $4.99. Oh, very nice. And, uh, founder for $4.99? I know. It's like... Man, if I had that, that money, I'd jump all over that. Yeah, that is a phenomenal deal. Um, but at the same time, it, I, I think it's a... It's a hundred dollars too cheap, at least. Um, so they, yeah, they go seven seven fifty usually. Oh yeah, absolutely. I remember those a place anywhere oh, yeah. and water. That train place anywhere and water. If I had the cash, I would jump all over that fucker. Um, also, you you know what? If you play around with in my shop and use that fifteen percent off, um, you can get a tax free village deed for about four hundred and sixty seven dollars. $467. Or you can get a, a, a keep deed <laughs> a keep deed for about 3000 Wow. Yeah. That's a deal. Yeah. It's like, dude, you can't find cheaper. That is a dude. deal. And and I, I, I want you to know everyone wants to save the world. Yes, I know. Yeah, I love including, this song. Including Spiffy. Yeah. Although I'm still I'm still ending up with some audio hitches every now and then, but yes. So, <clears throat> where was that that airy fund thing? Oh, I thought you were going with cry to cry. Okay, yeah, I've, I've actually got that up on the screen. So, <laughs> cry to cry and 174 questions. We're um, only on number two. Yeah, I, I think we're actually on his last question. Can the beginning of harvesting be based off of proximity to the center of the node instead of a set position? While encumbered, it can sometimes be tedious to walk around pebbles to get to the harvesting point. <clears throat> has, has he tried harvesting water lately? I, I, I don't know. I, does, do you enjoy round walking around things? Round the well I go, where I stop. <laughs> Nobody, Nobody knows. knows. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, well, this would be great. Animations would not be displayed properly, and that's why. Um, so they're designed for one area per node for some odd reason. But yeah, one facing. Yes, and so you have to actually walk your character in order to get to that. And there is some pathing issues that they are working on, and that have been bug reported. Bug. Bug. And then Bella Bones, can we have an icon that pops up when someone has stolen something from us? Great idea. Great idea. Now, would you also that's have... That's... I mean, we need something the opposite of pickpocketing that would be, like, awareness. And that awareness would be, like, situational awareness to where you're aware of... If you have a high awareness, um, then possibly... Notice somebody else getting pickpocketed? Yes. And n not only that, that if somebody's stealthing, you also have, it starts to outline them based off of, like, some math between, uh, some shroud math between their stealth ability and your awareness ability. Intelligence. 
It would allow you to see the predator, is what you're saying. Well, maybe. And and then then it would give a uh, uh, Gix the time to turn around and do the stealthing emote. So that way, whenever you're in stealth mode, you're like hunched over and you're like doing this. It, it, or so that would become the animation for that while you're stealthing. And it's even funnier whenever you're wide open in the middle of nowhere trying to stealth and everybody sees you. Try to hide behind a little fern. And then, uh... Not hide behind a lamppost. Yes. Uh, Ansev wants to know, can we get a filter or some other method to determine which gear is associated with our decks? This way I can easily figure out which gear I can take out of my inventory without causing a problem. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Simple. You could. Will it happen? Possibly. Well, Nobody well, knows. <laughs> Spin the wheel. Yeah, spin the wheel. Ants have, after seeing the new virtue-based armor types such as the Courage Plate, Chest Plate, with the bell in front, would it be possible to get a version of those armors where you could insert symbols such as the Hospital or other crafting symbols that are on the signs or storage chests? You add the symbol to the crafting interface and it gets baked into the item. Great item for post... Great idea for post-launch, but this would really be a big feature to add right now. We're discussing internally the option of making symbol-free versions of those armors for now, though. It would be nice to it, have symbol-free ones, because well, the cloth armor looks really nice, but I don't want to really be dorky-looking wearing that symbol well, you, running you, around the world when uh, I, I don't subscribe to that. So, uh, you know. Well, you, you have to remember that there is also the Code of Arms that was a pledge reward that they haven't addressed yet either. Well, that's something that we you know, need and to get in there, of course. The, the Code of Arms that's should be able to be baked into the armor as well. and so, But that requires them to like do all kinds of different things in order to generate that armor. And I don't think they've even thought about how they're going to figure that out. Yeah, well, getting close. They're, they're going to have to figure that out between uh, now and then. DOD, thank you for the follow. Hey, thank you. Decibels of damnation. Yeah. I let the dogs loose or anything like that. Should have. Uh, yeah. If. I, I just want to start following a few people on the forums and ask them, how are you not banned yet? How are you not <laughs> banned yet? Anytime they post. Um, then let's see. Where, where are we at? Ansev, I think in the past Chris had mentioned something related to how some of the artifacts had hidden effects, Kabbalah stuff, or was this related to the Lord British Coke? There are a variety of items, mostly artifacts, but also the Lord British Cloaks. That have hidden oh. effects. Oh. Yeah, both. Um, right now, they do not have a way for players to find out about them, though. They do want to provide a long, a way long term. So don't forget, if you wear the Lord British cloak around, at some point in time, some random time, and something might fall out of the sky and hit you on the head. An Acme anvil will fall out of the sky and whack you across the head. Yeah. Double damage from falling um, stars. Yeah. Is it, isn't it actually a door opener that falls and whacks you on the head? Has anybody actually seen this happen? Mm, yet? No, I, I, I don't think it's happened to anybody in game. I haven't. Seen yeah. It. I, I know haven't. I have seen it. Now, Skeggy showing off. He's uh, sitting there wearing his Lord British cloak. Yeah, he's like, he's trying to invite something to fall from the heavens and randomly yeah, strike him down. Like meteor down. strike. Haven't seen anything yet. No, I, I don't think anybody's yes, seen there, that happen. There is yet. a random chance of that happening. So be careful, and if you ever experience it, let us know. Yeah, and, and I, I like how Skeggy's wearing the uh, the the nice plate ch plate plate armor of courage. Hey, is Gix animated in this yet? What do you mean? Has he animated it yet? Well, it all has to be animated before it happens, right? 
I don't know, but it, it, I, I see that Skeggy has actually turned that armor into something else. And uh, he's just used it as a skin. Which means I can no longer see what kind of armor he's actually wearing. So no, that is the standard. Uh, well, it's got... You've got, the, like, the glowing outline, like, uh... Uh, you know how they do that for... You're wearing something you sh that's enchanted? Uh, pants are enchanted. Oh, your pants are enchanted. That, oh, that's why, you're just wearing plate leggings. That's what it is. Yep. Would be nice if they could come as a pattern. Oh yeah. Be nice. I think Laz is just staring blankly at things. Well, I, I, I'm trying to figure out why a feature of the game is just really not fucking working, but anyway. W what feature of the game? Uh, I'm not going to get into it right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ansev wants to know why don't the copper longswords and bronze longswords etc that drop off of mobs drop scraps of that type currently they don't do scraps of tier 2 components from salvage uh, can we get the ability to rub off or obscure the maker's mark but there's a chance to destroy the weapon uh, they are discussing improvements to the maker's mark system either additional maker's mark for enchantments or masterworks or the last person to touch the item has the master mark as they have taken the most risk. Well, I, I, I really think that you would have to have the original ma Master's Mark and then the Enchanted by Master's Mark, just for consistency. Uh, Crazy Tika wants to know, can the devs add craftable gasoline under gasoline. alchemy? We need more exotic drinks. Uh, I see how you got the first part of your username. <laughs> <laughs> That's the answer. I see how you got the first part of your username. Uh -huh. Very simple. That's right. Yeah. BDF with 67,000 questions. Uh, the question number one from BDF is, how am I not banned from the forums yet? The answer is, I don't know. Laziness. BDF wants to know, can, could we get a new way to use pets like a, as a static decoration or part of an aquarium? I have tons of pets, but I can't use enter any of them. Dude, that's the zoo idea that's been ch tossed around since um, four years ago. I just want to know, when are we going to have Pokemon like they do in World of Warcraft? You know what? Th this is a funny question. Since 15 versus 15 for PvP becomes pro problematic, is it likely that PvP scenes will be limited to 30 players at a time? Um, Chris wants says, 15 versus 15 in the exact same spot can be problematic and overly chaotic in any game, but that doesn't mean that a scene needs to limit itself to 30 people because they can spread out. They hope to keep PvP elements that encourage people spreading out in scenes like control points or desirable harvest elements. Either way, our focus the next few releases will be making sure that 50 plus players NPCs can all be in the same space without destroying performance, which is the most important first step for us. <laughs> I, I really think they need to actually target 100 plus in the I same confined them. area. Those scenes for those dance party folks. Absolutely. Exactly. It needs to be 100 plus, not 50 plus, because as soon as you start having uh, like your town supporting 100 plus characters without lagging, pe then the major complaint of people saying, hey, uh, I don't see anybody, disappears. Yay. Then they have to figure out how they're going to generate those instance, multiple instances of multiple towns. Uh, just to follow up on Valo's question concerning siege, sieges being more meaningful. Players can currently teleport into the towns. Vendors still work and there's no real disruption to the town that makes players want to remove the siege. 
Uh, they have debated that, that issue internally. The real issues related to performance and introducing a large battle mechanic inside spaces with decorations can be problematic. Eventually, once further optimizations, optimizations are complete and this barrier is, has been removed, they can revisit that idea. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, can I just skip the Venger cloak? <laughs> or can I? Yeah. No. Uh, can we get logs on doors? They absolutely want to do this, but it's not as simple as it sounds, which is why they have not done it yet. Do we just track interaction? So Bob opens the door. What about people who walk through it? Well, now we have to track who, where the door volume trigger is, which is new to data per door. They also need to track which way is in versus out and have two more triggers to detect that. What happens if I jump out the window or off the roof? Yeah, you're just creating a lot of work in order to track who comes or goes. What would be nice, an easier way to do that would be using those like knight servants, the lord servants and the baron servants have them actually be your log. It's like, this person visited the house today. That would be nice. And, that, that and that's it. For those folks who had those. Which means that, hey, you know what? That gives people an incentive to go buy them off a of Shroud Marketplace. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, the, but, at, but at the same time, it's only like if you have that servant locked in a closet they're never going to see anybody so it's only like players that they have seen and uh so anytime it's like a player comes in they may not know their name unless they actually interact with the servant as well it's like hello you had three visitors to the house today but n i don't know their names because they didn't tell me hey a lot easier uh you like that you like that solution Anybody? Anybody? Yeah. No. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. It's easier if you just have something that, like, your your lot stone can detect people c coming on the lot. Yeah. It, yep. Uh, uh, we, we we've got some uh, requests to like completely skip BDF's questions. <laughs> of course, that's the that's the idiot who wants to know why he can't kill undead with his death spells. Uh. -huh. Yeah. Yep. And it's it's even better when it's like he's asking questions that were already answered. Um, uh, so we're going to skip to Osric, who wants Osric. To, Osric, you think you focus on the crafting user interface one day? Yes. One day. Yes. Yeah. Sure. So you're going to focus on it for one day. One day. Eventually, <laughs> it's gonna be one tomorrow. We, w w one day we will get to you move that health bar uh, away. In, oh yeah, yeah. Some place where we want to see it. Absolutely. One day you'll be able to. Yeah, one one day the user, user interface, interface will allow me to block somebody and not be able to see them. Exactly. Yeah, I just don't get it. Um. How if, about one day we can actually crush a gemstone into fragments? Yes, I can already yes. put it back together, but I want to be able to break it down. And then Osric wants to know, can you reactivate the payment plans? And uh, that is a yes at some point in time, possibly. But in the meantime, you can manage this kind of uh, by, by yourself by simply store purchasing store credit a little bit at a time. Like, uh, for example, monthly during telethons to get the unique items. And then once you have enough credit, you buy the bundle That's that you want. What I suggest to folks yeah. is to, if they want to save up, just take and buy themselves a coin every time those telethons come up and let them accumulate on your account. And do so something. You have what you need. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Tharzadun Baphomet wants to know, will the death passives be fixed to where they have more of an impact on the death summons? Currently, they don't seem to have any impact at all. I've compared a GM Lich with GM Death Paths passes to a level 40 Lich with lo level 60 passes. And they dealt similar damage and there wasn't any comparable difference in the decay rate. 
Chris is going to examine those again. Death Summons got a bit of a boost in Release 47, and he's going to try to evaluate how they currently compare to other summoning, tamming options before launch. Will animate dead mm. make a comeback once those bottlenecks are resolved? <laughs> no. Not clear on this, as we've never had an animate dead spell. I would love to eventually... But it's much more complicated task. Summon leech, summon skeleton. Y you know what? I want to go slay a bunch of skeletons and then I want to animate them. You want to make them and dance. You know what? Uh, I, I still say that, like, if you are in, if you're heavily invested in the fire tree or you're heavily invested in the water tree, there, even the death tree, each of those have, like, elementals or oh, something oh, you, of the sir. opposites. Uh, something that is spawned from that um, kind of like fire elementals, water elementals or undead in that tree. There should also be a charm for that monster type. And so that way, if you go, if you're heavy and in, heavily invested in uh, fire, you go down to a fire elemental room. You can charm the fire elementals so they don't attack you. That way, Laz won't bitch about death magic not working against the undead. It's never going to work against the undead. You didn't pay attention to what I said, did you? No, I didn't. See, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You never pay attention. Never, I, ever. I've, I've, got a, I've got another problem going on over here. Never mind. <laughs> oh, I, I, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Yeah. You do realize what can of worms that would open up. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 just, I just want to point out the fallacy in a couple of these systems as I'm doing right now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how they're not working? How, how they, they just zero operability, yes. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, Achilles Fire, Fire Harp, uh, can we have a... Pot template based on the new totally awesome North Midmere Way uh, map. Eventually, maybe. Uh, can we have a deck, a next deck, previous deck toggle arrangement instead of just one alt decks? Perhaps eventually. Could GM enchanters and master workers be offered either more options or a full list of possible options with a rule to decide if major or minors are given? Maybe. More options will be coming online eventually. Eventually. Yeah. Will Discord's built-in game overlay be supported? They are investigating Discord's rich features now, and then he fully expects they'll have some more Discord support soon, though not 100% which ones will be integrating. I would love for integration of voice chat and not just text. I just don't see it. The f first rollout, I mean, it would have to be some com some kind of phenomenal hitch in order for that to make make me want to use it in-game as compared to the way we use it now. Yeah. At, as it is, hey. yeah. I, Discord um, you, did you, not help <clears throat> gaming in, as far as I'm concerned. Because well, instead of the way that they integrated it <clears throat> didn't help. No, I'm talking about the fact that you know, you start a Discord server to get a group of people together, and anybody can now start a Discord server, so everybody's got one. Everybody wants people to come into their server. Hey, and, it's the same you know, as TeamSpeak you know, or you know, Vint. Discord servers or, I have on my list right now that uh, really three? are unnecessary. A lot. I mean, but yes. at the same time, it's also one where it's... That, that's the same thing that applies to TeamSpeak, uh, Ventrilo, Mumble, any one of, well, any voice. TeamSpeak, at least, you had to have a, a subscription to have a decent server, okay? Which want, but people would then want to join because you had people on your server. Yeah. In Discord, when, you know, you and I can go create separate servers to try and get the same audience and 300,000 other people can do the same thing, it dilutes the audience big time, is what I'm saying. Hey, right. uh, you, you know what? There, there's, there's really no solution there. Just because you're, the the issue becomes. It's like I only want to ch chat with my friends, and then you're arguing 
against like doing something like that and only going for pro ones. Um, yeah, there's no solution that I can think Again, of. Again, it, it diluted the, the gaming systems as far as I'm concerned. If I don't think it did. In with a group of folks. Yeah, you, know, uh, you had it join in into that server. Now you can make your own. It's like, well, no, I just have my own server. I it's it's to easy them. to make them, but I don't think it diluted it at all. It, nah, I think it's I actually disagree. increased the the availability of a lot of things. Listen, and, how yeah. many servers do you see people actually talking in compared to how many people actually come in and talk to the yeah, server? It, yeah, yeah. Try to the Avatar server, you very rarely see there's thousands of people in there, but you never see anybody in there talking to you. You don't see people joining the voice chat because they're in other places. Now, would you prefer well, a feature it, it, where you're exactly. able to join multiple voice channel, multiple voice servers? We have multiple voice channels. Now, would multiple you multiple voice channels? Would you like the ability to room. join multiple? Right now in Discord, you can only join one at a time. Why would I want to join multiple? I don't know. How many TeamSpeak tabs do you have open? How many How many phone calls can you pay attention to at one time? 73. Oh, okay. Well, then you can join <laughs> 73 servers. Fuck you. Moving on. <laughs> uh, will POTS without Everland access ever get siege mechanics? Unlikely. So it's a great place to hide all of your your free buffs without sieges. Um, oh, you mean like Goldfield? Absolutely. I know it's n a no, but would, could seed invest packages have an upgrade path? No. Uh, no. Amarath wants to know, the explanations during the Telethon world building tours enliven the zones very much. Could you consider adding an identify type ability spell, which would display similar explanations in game as text descriptions to enhance the otherwise very visual experience? interesting suggestion the other thing would be you know what increase the amount of storyboard content so it's like you need more letters on the ground you need more uh placards you need more evidence of things to actually tell that story we need more cheese sign writing and we definitely need more cheese sign writing um that is a great suggestion more cheese sign writing um, yes. Some other U Unity utilizing games and development are touching huge visibility in targeting ranges. I personally loved how you could pan the camera really far away. You made the camera distan distance slightly greater in a previous patch. How about going all out with this one while at it? How about increasing the distance of pot housing items? Um, yeah, those games don't have dynamic spaces like you do we do with changing time of day, multiple shadow casting, moving light sources, movable objects, etc. It's like, let's go ahead and increase the lag to where nothing is playable. Uh, Diego wants to know, will more decorations items be set to rotate on the side? Specific requests, barrels, bottles, bottles, of wine. Uh, please report those as bugs and they'll try to fix them at when they have time. I'm going to be able to play spin the bottle. Yes! Spin the bottle <laughs> right now. Put it on its side and give it a spin. Yes, but we need we need that to actually be animated. So Gix, get on it. Well, that's yeah. easy to do, Gix. Yeah. Just keep doing what you're doing. Keep and, hanging out in the bars and playing yeah. money for for tips, and you'll be doing. And you'll be on your way. List wants to role play a slob, <laughs> so and he says that you are breaking his immersion. Or Breaking her immersion. Immersion, man. Immersion. Breaking my immersion. 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 Uh, let's see. Where are we at? Will the brewing include wine and mead? Some of us are allergic to barley and wheat. Yes. When will brewing be coming online? We've only been looking for it for four years. Yes. Where's my root beer? I want to brew root beer. You're not getting root beer. Um... Yeah, we need some schnapps or something as well because it's cold outside. Uh, Brielle wants to know, will there be training materials on how to update the map? Yes. I, I don't quite comprehend the question. Soda map. Training materials on how training, to update training soda map. Training materials. 
that they're they're trying to incorporate everything being automatic why would we need training materials well yeah you know what i want to make a note to myself that the vendor on this lot right right here is a uh, kind of lame as soon as soda map Fun decides to look like, that already existed that has been now locked out of the map so i want i want to make a comment that the the vendor on this lot sucks whereas the vendor on this lot is freaking awesome yes and again the functionality is in the map and again it is now locked out but but she's asking for training materials on how to do that Hello, so, did you hear what hey, I just said? Hey, she's what asking for training materials. She's out. not act. She's not asking whether or not she can do it. She's asking for, will there be training materials? It, well, again, point, point. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you're, you're, you're not, you're not paying attention to the question. I, I am paying attention to the question, but if you can't make the changes, why the hell do we need training materials is what I'm saying. Yeah. Why, why don't we go down that path if you're going to automate it? <laughs> <clears throat> why, why don't you just re-enable the feature as it was that was perfectly working with a layer where we could already do that? Why, why did they disable it in the first place? That's all I'm asking. <laughs> I think internally they're going to kill you. I think List wants to reach through his, his yeah. speakers and strangle you. It, it was functioning and working and they've locked it out. That's all I'm saying. Uh-huh. Because plenty of changes can be made Plenty of notifications that you were able to mark nodes, you were able to put annotations, you were able to say, hey, exactly like you wanted to do, and now you can't do that. Why? I don't know. But anyway. You know what? They're migrating the SodaMap servers it's from... It's been migrated. How hard, how hard is it? To... Hey. Well, never mind. It, you, you, <clears throat> if you want the real answer, um, uh, he, did, he used about several hundred scripts in order to actually generate a bunch of things and they're going through and trying to go through every one of those scripts and as they are also trying to build those maps they're realizing that um jacob white put in a ton of work he's the one that, he's the one that designed it and so he actually knows how to do it whereas when list is going through and trying to update maps it's like, wait yeah, a second. Maybe the How training did, manual yeah. should be for these guys. Hey, you, you know what? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kill me. Yeah. What yeah. else we got? We've got a question from Lazarus Long on here that we're going to completely ignore. Because it's a bug. Ain't a bug. That's a bug. Yeah, it's, 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 if the glyph is locked and it's you can move it, that is a bug. Did you bug report it? That is not working as intended. That is a bug. Is there actually a question for me in there? I thought you were fucking with me. <laughs> there is. Can we please lock locked glyphs? Lock them in place so they don't move. And if your mouse moves is, moves while charging char charging glyphs. We absolutely need to fix that. It's uh, a yes. bug. Did you bug report it? It was reported. It was bug reported. Report it. Bug reported. Bug reported. Hello. Did, did you do you read the answer? Hey. We need to fix this. Does that? It, it, I, I believe that the, means somebody aware of it. Yes, did, no? you, you know how many things that Star is aware of? You, you, you know. You know how I feel about the combat system. <laughs> You love it. It's the best thing yeah. since sliced bread, according the to you. Best, best combat system of any game ever. <laughs> best combat system ever. <laughs> yep. Uh, so, Arca wants to know, what's mulling over in Chris's brain about the relationship between attunement and resistances? Chris's brain is mulling over about a billion things. The, this is one that bothers me a bit and I'm not super happy with, but I don't have a fixed plan for it just yet. The simplest solution I've come up with that will address concern is to add a passive skill in the opposing magic tree that is a resist skill for the opposing tree. Skill, the opposing tree. This would give some resistance to the opposite tree, but also give negative attunement to that tree. 
If I were to do that, I would adjust the attunement math a bit over, otherwise all magic users would suffer in PvP. Yeah, no. no. You, you know what? You... you <laughs> That's the point. It's like we hello. <laughs> we want people to suffer in PvP if yeah, they're going hello, to McFly. Yes. It's like you need to be able to say it's like, hey, I know this guy's a death mage and I need to up my life skills so that way I Yeah. Yeah, or don't yeah. I don't fuck with death mages because I can't counter them because Exactly. You know, yeah, yeah, I mean I mean, you know. Those, those, those are decisions. Yes. Those are things people should get bonuses and buffs for, not yes. for flagging PvP. Yeah. No, but it, it, it's it's one. It's all right. But tell yeah. me one thing: is there a life spell that actually hurts a player? Uh, life sh spell should actually hurt the undead, which it doesn't do either. Is that correct, Jack? Banish undead. Have you ever heard of that spell? Well, well, healing spells. Let me let me clarify. Oh, okay, there is no clarify. healing spell that currently damages clarify. the undead. Those except healing spells should, undead. except for banish undead. Yes. Yeah. So you know what time and it is, banish, right? Banish banish undead is named wrong. Okay, banish hey. undead should do exactly what it states it does, and it does not do it. Well, it's, we it's change the name to smite and have it affect people based it, on their death score. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That would be a great way to uh, do uh, that thing. Be. So th that also fixes the I death mage, banish. and it becomes a yeah. I like that one. Yeah, you know, banish undead does not banish. Banish undead, undead becomes sorry. smite, and the more invested you are in death magic, the more damage it does. Yes, absolutely, love it. Uh, let's see. You know what time it is, right? I know. One more. Um, Morgoth wants to know: uh, Will there be a new seed invest? The SEC limits those things to once every twelve months, so the soonest we could do another is the summer of twenty eighteen. And that, that takes does us. Does not answer the question. <laughs> um, possibly. Or does it? Or does it? It it does. They the soonest they could do another one is going to be twenty eighteen. Yes. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, so be ready for another one in twenty eighteen. Yep. <laughs> Uh, I am, but already. but we also know that after release, that's also when they planned on doing another Kickstarter to fund Episode 2 development or doing something else. We don't know what they're going to do for funding Episode 2. Yes, we do not know. Of course, uh, again, that's all speculative. And before the holidays, I'm not going to get crazy into that. We're going to wait and see what we find out about launch first. We're not finding anything out now, about launch. We're supposed to find that out. By the end of the year. <laughs> and, and, oh, Justin just let me know something. Yes. She's going to be doing her set on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving yeah. be damned. So tomorrow. I believe, yes, I believe both of these are on the schedule. Neither uh, one of them has uh, told me otherwise. So we expect uh, Clipsy tonight and sweet. Justin tomorrow. Because, yes. She don't she don't do the turkey thing till what Friday she said? I don't know. I didn't. I, I wasn't. Hey, I'm gonna have to do the turkey thing after I get off of dialysis. That's a that's yeah. A miracle in itself. I got I had the turkey sitting on the counter doing its yeah, final. Yeah, 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 you know what? It's time for you to do something else. Yeah, I know. Time to tell everybody about the NBNN Trout and the Avatar app. Available out there on the Google Play Store, the Apple iTunes Store, or the Amazon App Store for all your mobile devices. And of course, if you want to take Shrouded Avatar with you on the road, you can get the app and you can get all the latest information. You can check out the forums. You can listen to our podcast. You can shop the marketplace. You can listen on WRFB. And much, much more. Come on into Discord. Read the NBNN Daily Britannian. Or, of course, check out the latest happenings on the Daily Calendar. Hosted right here on NBNN. And don't forget that. that brought that, to you by Spectrum. 
that Community Calendar is an aggregate of all of the available calendars related to Shroud of the Avatar. And if you have a Google Calendar or if you want access to add events to the Google Calendar uh, from that guy, you can always email news at nbnn.info and eventually he'll do something with it. Probably lose it and ask you to send it again. Um, all times on the Community Calendar are Central Time in the Real World. And Justin did say that her turkey day is Friday. And um, let's see. Central time in the real world. But we prefer to refer to it as Nude Britannia time. I don't even know where I'm at. Yeah. Britannia time. Monday through Friday. Mm-hmm. Except right. this week, you should tune in your Ether amplifiers to Radio Free Britannia at 12s and 6s around the clock and listen to two idiots interpreting the news. So you mm-hmm. don't have to. A little show called Lunch with us. 7 p.m. this evening on WRFB. WRFB. This is the 70s at 7. At 8 o'clock on Avatar's radio, DJ Squirrel is going to be biting through the wires. But more importantly, on Radio Free Britannia. Unmedicated schizophrenia. You're going to get your ear holes probed by Dr. Eclipse Maiden. Unmedicated schizophrenia part un. In-game, Striker Spark Talks, happy hour happening at some pub somewhere. Go find it. Go drink your virtual drinks and get virtually drunk because all great adventures begin in a pub somewhere. Final event of the evening is going to be on Radio Free Britannia. And that is the Mm. record room. Oh, Yep. And and that's our community calendar for this Wednesday, November 22nd. And remember... You missed a bit, man. What? Which, Which one... The happy Miss- hour. Oh, oh, it's la- happy hour is Laz's favorite event of the week because it's also known Too as. Late. Too you, late. You, I, I start. I prepped you for it. You have to do it now. You, you, you didn't go down the right road, uh, man. Hey, he's killing me today. Killing me. I, I took the I took the path less traveled today. Was, yeah, I know. Was, we're, we're on the road to Turkey. I can't blame you. Yeah. And of course, again, reminder, we will be back on Monday right here inside Trinity Avatar. We do take holidays off and uh, we do like to have a little time to ourselves. Uh, it's mostly avoid people. Don't, yeah, it was mostly to just you know, take some time to decompress and avoid, go, uh, avoid people. No more voices in my head. Yeah. What voices in my Need head? Need to mellow out, man. Need to mellow out. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> but that's right. Otherwise, you can catch us live here on the air on nbnn.info, on YouTube, on Twitch. Well, no, not live on YouTube. Or listening on WRFB Radio Free Britannia five days a week normally. But, of course, we're taking off for the holiday, so we will return on Monday. Don't forget, if you want to support us, you can go to patreon.com slash nbnn and become a supporter. You can throw in some bits and coins. And, uh, okay, Hordak23 is now following and let the puppies loose. Thank you very much for the follow and letting those puppies loose. It's always a nice way to end the day. Or you can go out to uh, each of our streams, go to... uh, twitch.tv slash cinesist and uh, donate there. You can go to twitch.tv slash nbnn news. Donate there. Of course, coming up, the Airy Fund has the Master of the Forge event coming up in December. And these uh, these developers are really getting crazy oh, yeah. back there. I saw a pair of shoes that old Lum the Mad made, and those are a pretty nice set of shoes. Yeah, those they shoes. Have more. Those shoes, that's the name of them. Those shoes. Those shoes, that's right. We'll have more uh, coming up next week about that event. Of course, Coil More Wands, putting the magic in your hands. And of course, Black Friday sale this Friday. Coil More Wands, giving you 50% off anything in inventory. And of course, free gemming when you purchase a wand or a stamp from Coil More Wands. And that's in game. Contact the Arius Coil More in game, that's right. And uh, he'll get you taken care of. Scrota's music service. It's Scrota. It's music. And it's a service. Scrota, do you have a Black Friday event? Are uh, you doing uh, $4.99 for uh, anything you want? <laughs> That's right. 
Actually, it's four ninety five. Four ninety five. Take a take a nickel off. <laughs> That's four pennies more than than you originally. <laughs> And, of course, if you want Scroder to come follow you around and play music for an hour, you can go out to Shroud Marketplace and uh, hire him for his services. The Britannia Money Company wants you to come check out all the vendors down in Black Rock Cove. Market Road is specifically laid out for all you folks wanting your crafting needs fulfilled with all sorts of great goods for all those crafting needs. Uh, also, bazaars spread out throughout the town and uh, all sorts of other stuff, uh, lot deeds, kodos, and uh, much, much more in Black Rock Cove. And, of course, if you want to get your adultima on, you can check out the Dew Drop In located right here in Owl's Head down near the Crafting Center. Must be 18 and older for that one, folks. Relicsbyreal.com for all your licensed shrouded avatar swag. If you want to get yourself some swag and you want a t-shirt like the ones I wear every day, you want some patches, you want some hoodies, you want some beer mugs, some coffee mugs, uh, shot glasses, stickers, all sorts of stuff, including the elusive NBNN I Love This Shit bumper sticker. You can go out to relicsbyreal.com and get your swag. And if you want to save a little bit of money, while you're making that purchase, you can use the promo code NBNM when you check out at relicsbyreal.com and save 10% off your purchase. WRFB Radio Free Britannia bringing you the latest in news, events, and music right here inside Shrouded Avatar. All day, every day, you can catch us again five days a week on the radio and in replays in 12s and 6s. Arius Coilmore on Mondays, the Deco Divas every Wednesday and Thursday. Sarah and Andar taking the airwaves later on tonight. The House of Omen late night Fridays and Saturdays. And of course, wake up New Britannia every Saturday morning at 6 a.m. right here inside Trinity Avatar. Of course, last but not least, on the uh, sponsors list here is ShroudMarketplace.com. And, of course, we got sales. We got promotions. We got Marketplace Absolutely. for you out there. Yeah, ShroudMarketplace.com, the place to go buy or sell anything Shroud of the Avatar related. Currently over 85 players, registers, as vendors on Shroud Marketplace. And we have, have to welcome the latest vendor, One Timer, who is selling that tax-free Founder Village deed for $4.99 cheapest Welcome you can find it store. it's like realistically i have sold a tax-free founder village deed for 750 dollars before oh absolutely it, it, again yeah the going rate is over 700 the you going rate that. is over 700 dollars for that so great deal there uh don't forget you can always check out the coupons from different vendors uh that includes cynics legios gaming with zendix birthday taking place until december 1st use Crap. 10 birthday to save 10% off his stores. Sater's Stinky Sewer Shop is polishing crap. the crap out of things and if you use crap from Sater's oh, <laughs> if you buy crap from Sater's Stinky Sewer Shop and you use the promo code crap, you can save 10% or if you, you save some money on your new crap. You, you right. can save some money on your <laughs> new crap and don't forget Synesis Stuff which is my shop if you use the discount code uh Black Remember, Friday 15, stuff stuff, you can... stuff is crap. Yeah, my, my, mine is stuff. His is crap. So, <laughs> yes, you can save 15% off of my stuff through for a couple of days until it until it ends. <laughs> I don't even know when it ends. When's the 26th? It'll end when it ends. That's It'll right. end when it ends, the 26th. But buy it fast, which is Sunday. Uh, then from there, don't forget, uh, you know what? You're... Anything and everything is available on Shroud Marketplace from accounts to game gold, crowns of the obsidian, cheaper than you can find them other places, all the way to artifacts, expired items that you can't get, rares, rares, do your rare hunting, all the holiday stuff from 2015, including that expired airship. Those, yeah. He does expired items, that's right. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you miss something, you need to get it. Do so, shroudmarketplace.com, including services if you need some help from other players 
leveling up your character, there's three different ways to do that. You've got a GM miner, you've got a, a couple of leveling services from Mouse Power Hour to uh, Armelian's Gold and More. If you need some help decorating some stuff, especially with the cheese sign writing, because you know it's a time-consuming process, you can always contact Wolfton Shop. If you're you looking, need the Happy yeah. Holidays or Feliz Navidad or oh, yeah. any other of those uh, holiday celebratory terms done in cheesy writing, oh, man, yeah. now's the time to get those better, orders in. Better get that stuff done. You yeah. still got to make the cheese. Oh yeah, and you got to right. you gotta cut the cheese. Thing. That's right. Yeah. You gotta make it, then you gotta cut it. That's yeah. right. Then don't forget if you're look, you've also got Scrotus Music Service, where five dollars gets you anything you want. That's right. And if you're looking for an in-game wedding, who do you contact for that, Laz? You contact this guy. Uh, weddings are more by Laz. Not just weddings, but a whole lot more. And of course, unfortunately, our time has run out. We gotta go ahead and say goodbye to the good folks out there today. And uh, get ready to go do the turkey festivities out there. So if you would, please. Hey, thank you, everybody. We have to thank everybody for hanging out with us in Discord, watching on Twitch, YouTube, or listening on Radio for Britannia. Nice. We couldn't do the show without you guys, and we do it for you guys. So thank you for hanging out for us for an hour a week. Or a day. Sorry. A day. A That's day, right. not a week. Course, everybody have a safe and happy and healthy turkey day. Don't eat too much. Don't get indigestion. And if you do, well, then go for that chocolate cake on top of it because you ain't going to hurt yourself much, much more after that anyway. <laughs> but we will be back Monday with more right here on NBNN. Till then, I'm Lance. I'm Jack. And NBNN. Have a great weekend. Have a great turkey day, everybody. And we'll see you all on Monday. Bye-bye. Don't forget a bottle of Pepto when you're out doing your shopping. <laughs>